A very good morning to you and welcome to the Fixed Wing Guy channel. My name's Stuart Lomas. It's a beautiful Thursday morning here in Manchester. There's not a cloud in the sky, unusual for here. Um, just a quick one for this one. There will be more today. Um, I want to reply, funnily enough, yet again uh, to our friend down under, Archie. Um, saw his video this morning, which I think was called, just bear with me, um, Archie Speaks. Uh, the Watch Co. Omega, good, bad, or ugly. Now, it's going to actually be a very, very short video, this. Um, Archie, um, as he always does, did pontificate a little bit and carried on endlessly repeating himself as is uh, as he's his want. Um, but uh, one point he did make, which uh, kind of stuck with me, was uh, he was trying to um, classify what the Watch Co. Omega was. So what you've got, if somebody hasn't seen the video or you don't know who Watchco are, they're a company based in Australia who, who what they've done, they've bought uh, original new old stock uh, from Omega. Cases, crowns, movements, sapphires, you know, did that. Um, and they have now decided, instead of just supplying or fitting um, all these parts for people who have damaged cases, for instance, or bought a watch second hand that needed a new case because it was damaged, they've decided to actually start making um, their own versions of Omega watches, hence the Watch Co. Omega. Um, and what Archie was saying was, were these fake? Or were they a Frankenstein watch, i.e. made up of all bits and pieces from everywhere? Uh, are they uh, a replica? Uh, are they a homage? Well, um, I think the conclusion he came to, that they were actually none of these things. What they actually were, were um, an Omega watch, which is not made by Omega. So he asked himself the question, which was, would he own one? Um, and his answer to that was no, definitely not. He wouldn't own one. He would prefer to buy a genuine Omega that came out of um, the Omega factory. Now, my point here is, um, and I'm going to send this video as a reply to Arch. Um, in Australia, like, like there is here in Britain, um, Foster's Lager, for instance, um, the quintessential... Australian drink, yes, unless you drink Castle Main, of course, but the situation will stand with that as well. Here in the UK, um, Foster's is brewed under licence by Courage. Um, so basically what Foster's Lager is in Britain is Courage Lager made to the same specification as Foster's Brew It in Aussie. Um, McDonald's. Um, McDonald's are an American company. I am sure they have branches in Australia. Uh, if Archie has ever eaten a McDonald's, which I'm fairly sure he has, um, they are um, put together in Australia in a plant and shipped out to all the stores in Australia. I'm sure the sauces are made in Australia to a recipe that originated in America. Uh, the same perhaps could be said for Coca-Cola. I don't know what could be. The same could be said for uh, Guinness. Uh, which I'm sure is served in Australia. Uh, I doubt very much these days where it's shipped over in kegs from Dublin. Um, the same could be said for KFC. So the point I'm coming to here, Archie, is is what you have said not the same as other well-known worldwide brands? And if it does, if it is the case, given the case of the Foster's Lager brewed under licence here in Britain by Courage, does that make it any less Foster's? Are you not getting the same thing? And if you came to Britain and you like Foster's, would you not drink the Foster's beer that's available here in the UK on principle? That actually what you're getting in the bottle isn't the same. What do you think? Let me know, Archie. I would be interested to get your reply on my reply.
So basically that's it. The Watchco Omega Company. Check them out. Um, Apparently the watches are not massively cheap, you know, they, he did say between four and five thousand dollars. Now I'm assuming he was referring to US dollars, I don't think he was um, referring to Australian do dollars, because the Aussie dollar is in the shitter right now. Um, so I don't really know, I don't know a lot about watch code, but I am aware of them, uh, and I would be interested to get both your views about that, and especially Archie's views about what I've said. Um, he didn't mention that they were being built under license. I can just only assume that they don't need a license as they will be calling them the Watchco Omega. Uh, at worst, in my view, they are uh, a homage. At worst. Are they the real thing? Um, Omega Crystals? Omega Case? Omega Movements? Omega Crowns? Omega Bracelets? Omega Straps? Are they the same? You made the decision. You know, so Arch, if you're watching this, and I do hope you are, um, let me know. Either send me a video reply or drop me a note down below. Um, and if you expect me to pay for your reply, sorry, mate, I, I'm not doing that. But um, I do love watching your videos. I love you getting enraged about different things. Um, keep up the good work, mate. But um, I think my point is valid. Okay, well, for now, that's it for this one. Uh, any questions? down below. Uh, any queries? Down below. And thank you very much for watching this complete nonsense as I always say. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye.